Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. This is a short vlog of Thanksgiving weekend, but I didn't get too many clips at Thanksgiving because I just wanted to be present in the moment with my family. But here are some clips of all the food we had. We had some traditional stuff like turkey, stuffing, gravy, cranberry sauce, mashed potatoes, green beans, and then some not as traditional stuff like short ribs, winter melon soup, soy sauce chicken, pork belly. And I also made ube mochi muffins as my contribution. I'll leave the link to the recipe in the description box. Oh, and I wanted to include this cute clip of bird playing hide and seek with my nephews. Good girl! Go! The next day, we woke up super early because Bird and I love to go Black Friday shopping every year. Ready to shop! Although the in-person deals this year weren't that good, so we didn't end up getting that much stuff. Champagne toast for life. I did get stuff online though, so I'll show you guys a haul once all of it arrives. Bird! <laughs> Thank you. Bird. After walking around for a few hours, we went to line up at Ramen Nagi so we could be in the first wave. They open at 11, but at 10 o'clock, the line was already starting to get pretty long. Bird stood in line while I went to get boba for us at this new pink pink tea shop place that I've been really wanting to try. I ordered the strawberry and raspberry jasmine tea with cheese foam. Hard to say. Hard to say. <laughs> Overall, I think it was not bad, but I want to go back and try other items from their menu. This is the best. These bean sprouts. These peppered bean sprouts are so good, and that's coming from someone who hates bean sprouts. I could literally eat that whole container. They're so good. We decided to try the karage here and it was looking crispy. These pieces were huge and they kind of had like this sweet glaze to them, which we thought was interesting. It reminded me more of like Korean fried chicken than karage. Thank you. This is my Red King with thin noodles, which is my go-to order. Oh, it's so good. Bird got the original King, which he really liked as well. so cute it says san francisco houses kit look they're so cute the painted ladies on saturday we decided to try sea pot which was on our list of hot pot places to check out and it was the perfect hot pot weather they have a pretty extensive sauce bar and my go-to sauce is ponzu with garlic chilies a little cilantro and lots and lots of green onion for the broth, I went with the healthy herb soup and Bird got the tomato. The coolest part was that they had food coming out on a conveyor belt, so you could just grab whatever you wanted. However, you have to order the meats with your server and you can only order one per person each time. So it actually made it hard to eat a lot of meat, even though it was technically all you can eat. Overall, I'm glad we finally checked it off our list, but I think there are better all you can eat hop-up places out there. Okay, so after lunch, we went to TPT and we brought our drinks home. And so I got my usual, which is the strawberry milk tea. This time I got it with tea jelly. And then Bird got this Taiwan classic milk tea, which comes with boba grass jelly. And I think it's supposed to come with QQ noodle, but maybe they were out because I don't see them in there. But what I really wanted to show you guys is a little trick that we do, which is we order extra strawberry milk tea. We don't get any toppings in it. And I always get the strawberry milk tea with half sweet. And since it's kind of like this icy texture, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's kind of almost like a smoothie slushy type of thing. So what we do is we order extra because we keep it in the freezer and that way we have something to drink during the week. So we just keep these in the freezer like that. And then whenever we wanna drink it during the week, we take it out and let it sit for like an hour so it can melt for a little bit. And then it's like pretty much exactly the same as when you would order it. Hey, Tony. <laughs> You're very cute. Anyway, let's try this strawberry milk tea. 
Look at the tea jelly down there. The tea jelly kind of has the consistency of like grass jelly, but it actually does add like a tea flavor to it. Mm, it's good. While we're drinking boba, Bird put on this Chinese <laughs> Sesame Street. <laughs> so that we can practice our Mandarin, right? Da Okay, big bird, yes. Elmo. <laughs> the next day we were craving sushi, so we went to Ultra Sushi, which is all you can eat again. Apparently we were on an all you can eat kick that weekend, but we actually barely ever go to all you can eat spots usually. My favorites were the uni, scallop, hamachi carpaccio, fish crush, and surprisingly, the skewers. Ever since I ate so much yakitori in Hawaii, I've been craving skewers like all the time. Personally, I thought the sashimi wasn't that great, like even the tuna and salmon weren't that buttery, but this is like one of the only all-you-can-eat sushi spots in the bay, so it definitely does the trick. Thank you. Hi, Tony. Okay, so today is Monday also known as Cyber Monday, and I have Thanksgiving leftovers. So I'm gonna make the Thanksgiving leftover sandwich. I was inspired by the Disney Thanks Miss Sandwich that I featured in my Disney holiday video. And also, we're not gonna talk about how I've been wearing this hoodie for the past like week. Anyway, so here we have the bread in the air fryer. This is a nine grain sourdough. So I just toasted it up in the air fryer for a few minutes. And then for the filling, we have the usual suspects. We have turkey, we have cranberry sauce, we have gravy to dip it in. And what's missing is stuffing. I thought my mom packed me some stuffing. So basically it's gonna be <laughs> turkey with gravy and cranberry sauce. All right, let's get some cranberry sauce. And this is homemade cranberry sauce. It's not the canned stuff. And then let's grab some turkey. I'm gonna load up the turkey because we don't have stuffing, so <laughs> that's pretty much the only filling of the sandwich. Actually, I'm just gonna put the gravy straight on, on this side. <laughs> it looks so basic. All right, here we go. Here's our little sandwich. It doesn't really look like much. I'm gonna make another one for bird. All right, this is our Thanksgiving leftover sandwich, which is literally just turkey, cranberry sauce, and gravy. Cheers. Not bad. Mm. Cranberry sauce is like tart, and then the gravy is like umami. And the bread. I really like the bread. Huh? Yummy. Mm. <laughs> okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you made it this far, comment below conveyor belt hot pot, and that'll be like our little secret phrase. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye!